Okay, so um, surfboard resin and talc leading edge there, the goop, and in on the, the roots, and just some two and a half mil balsa to form the top part of the trench on the trailing edge. Okay, so there's your first coat of the Techni Res in. Quite thick, as in the product was quite thick. The layer itself isn't too bad, but uh, I think we're going to have to look at maybe thinning it. Anyway, we shall see. Okay, here we are. About to pour the tailplanes for the lunar tick. The lunar tick. We've dubbed the updated lunar that we're building. So this has two coats. I don't know if you can see here, there's a light blue, which was the first coat of gel coat. Then there's a white coat over the top, which unfortunately has gone off. Um, I've given a little bit of a sand, kind of hoping that um, Tim's theory that you get a chemical bond even up to 10 hours is, is correct, so that I get a good a good mix, a good connection there with the gel uh, with the gel coat to the coring. Okay, so here's 1.7 liters, which just seems like so much to me here. I don't know whether I've done some calc wrong. Maybe not. Anyway, here goes everything. Such a beautiful method of making a mold. Tim tells me that his gizmo molds are only 18 mils thick. These are 18. I was going to make them 15, but I couldn't find anything on any sort of stock down at Bunnings to make a 15 mil fence out of so I'm just sort of stuck with what I got without trying to cut something to that sort of size yep and now I say this on every video but it looks like way too much but this one definitely looks too much eventually bubbles will come out of that and I'll be able to pull more in but I don't think I'll be getting all that into this one. I want to just get crazy and get it overflowing. I'm having the big stuff out of it. Which it looks very close to doing right now. So I'm going to have to get something to space that with. What can I space that with? Like it's going to be sticks again. Need to get these under. It's already overflowing. Damn it. I don't know why this bench isn't level, but it isn't. For some reason. We're on. Okay, here we are. Our lunatic tail planes. Trying to separate the moulds. I've put a little um, plasticine wedge in there so that I can put the the chisel in and bang. So here we go. Can you steady with one hand, Jeff? Can you multitask there? Here goes everything. Gentle, gentle. Ah, uh, uh, don't, don't, no, no, just, just get something, a little bit of stick in there, bang, a little bit of stick in there, work, work your way out. Sure if that'll work. Just keep working your way out. Another, another little stick a bit further out. On this side, just keep it going easy. Yep.
where you can you know you can do with your chisel but just keep working out just keep working slowly out Good. I think just make it horizontal now so we don't drop it. Yep. Drop it. Okay. But nothing real I'm not going to get past that. Yep. Okay. Something's released. Yeah. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> we can breathe. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just the balsa, that's fine. I figured I'd have to dig that out. This one's already popped, which is good. Just a matter now of this is the big question. If we can, oh, I can get under oh, there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Cloth, 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 strip oh, of cloth, enough, strip of enough. peel ply. Okay, so just a bit of peel ply under Sip. the tip. This is exactly the way we sort of said for Josh the other day to try and get that fuse out. Beautiful, beautiful, just backwards and forward a little bit. Okay. Okay. Not really sure. What, it's probably this that's grabbing. Yeah. I wonder if I should just run a knife down that. Yep. Just yep. um. Are we rolling. We're rolling. All right. So just under the other edge now. We've just trimmed against the the um, joiners there just to make sure they're not locking down. And here goes nothing. I hope the actual parts pop like that. Yeah, I can see that corner just sort of lifting there. That's it. Okay. Pull up. See if you can pull up a little bit. Up. up. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's out. Oh, 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 oh. Beautiful. Oh, good, good. Just, just look at the bottom again. So they survived. They survived. Little, little creek on just on little the crease just there. Just on the edge there. They're basically usable. Oh, a little bit of. A little bit of hang up there, just a little. Oh, that's the mold. That's surface. here. So it's definitely just that. Just want to show the shine. Look at, yeah. shine. Look at that shine. Is it nice? Look at that shine. Look at that shine. Here's part two. Look at that. It's not too bad. There, I'll turn it back on again, so that again. Trench has come out okay. Yep, trench seems pretty good. Yep. Just need to clean that up a little bit, just where they weren't quite matched. What I learned doing this one, and I have now done for the next one, is to make a matched pair. Oh. This is for the um, fin. Yeah. Yeah, and these ones, I made these ones up, and then made the other ones up later. So if you make a matched pair, you don't have to worry about that, you know that they meet up uh -huh. second yep. time round. 